Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today's video is going to be a little bit more serious because I just have something I've been wanting to talk to you guys about. I know that a lot of you guys, probably most of you all, found my channel through my minimalism videos, whether it was my closet clean out or minimalist life hacks. All those videos that did quite well is where I got most of my following from. So naturally, a lot of you who are watching are interested in minimalism and all that kind of stuff. So you've probably noticed that lately I have not been posting any videos called minimalism or with minimalism in the title and this is definitely done intentionally and I just want to talk to you guys about why I've kind of quit minimalism. So I haven't quit in the sense that I no longer um, live with minimal belongings and focusing on what's important. I still do that. I still live out of the two suitcases that I have with my husband together. Um, we own not much at all as far as material possessions. We still live this way and we plan to live this way for a while. But what I have quit doing is using minimalism in my titles, in my thumbnails, and this is because I find that online a lot of people think minimalism is an extreme lifestyle and every single time I would talk about minimalism there were so many people saying you're not minimal enough because of this or that. You know, it's really not minimal to have like long hair and you guys might think it sounds silly but I've been getting so many comments like that. You know, minimalists shouldn't wear makeup. You know, why do you tan? Why do you whatever? And it just gets really frustrating and I personally just don't think it is worth it to put minimalism in the titles of my videos anymore or in the thumbnails but pretty much the content has remained the same so it's kind of funny because the content is the exact same but when I remove the word minimalism I get a lot better feedback and a lot less hate on my videos and a lot less criticism for example my um, office tour, desk tour, you know, if I would have put minimalist desk tour, people would constantly tell me like, oh, you shouldn't own this or you shouldn't own that. And to be quite honest, I'm just sick of people telling me how to live my life, what I'm allowed to own and what I am not allowed to own. Another reason I quit putting minimalism in my videos and kind of stopped talking about it is because people tend to group people together. I get it. This is natural. People want to understand things better. So sometimes grouping certain types of people together makes things easier easier to understand, but I can't tell you how many comments I got or questions or messages or whatever of people saying, oh, most minimalists do yoga. Do you do yoga? Oh, most minimalists eat like this. Do you eat like that? Oh, most minimalists use this product, so you must love it. And I just honestly kind of find that annoying because nobody likes to be grouped together and stereotyped. I am myself. Um, I am not going to be like the other minimalist YouTubers online, so I don't like people comparing me to them and it just gets kind of old. So I know a lot of you came for the minimalism content, but I hope that you still like my channel and that you stay for me and my personality and just because you like me, not because you see minimalism in the title and it makes you click on it. Can we also talk about about that you guys. I started uploading the minimalism videos because I was kind of miserable as far as my closet went. I would go to my closet and try to pick out an outfit and I was so stressed and overwhelmed and I was often in my closet just like having a mini meltdown because I couldn't find anything to wear that made me feel good and made me feel like myself and made me feel comfortable. This is why my first videos about minimalism were all about my closet because I felt like this is an area of my life that needs to change because I am highly stressed out and I waste a ton of time on my closet when I don't even really like clothes, like I'm not like a clothes and fashion junkie at all. And I started to feel so good cleaning out my stuff and I thought that a lot of you guys could also benefit from these types of changes and I just liked sharing my story of cleaning things out and simplifying my life and I have been living like this now for many months and I'm so happy with where minimalism has taken me to just having minimal belongings, living out of a suitcase. It's just fantastic. It allows me to take opportunities and just go after everything. It's, it's freedom. To me, minimalism is freedom. I have nothing holding me back from going where I want to go in life. And to me, that's what minimalism is all about, is not letting stuff get in the way of my dreams or stop me from doing things in life. It affords me freedom to travel, to go, to just up and go. And that is what I love, love, love about the lifestyle. A lot of people don't see it that way. They see, oh, if you're a minimalist, you have to go live somewhere minimal and you can only wear this. You can only do your makeup like this. And I'm just frankly done with it. So I am not going to be making minimalism videos anymore, I guess, as in I'm not going to be calling my apartment 
apartment, minimalist apartment. It's just gonna be apartment. And you guys know that I live a certain way, a minimalist type of lifestyle, but I honestly don't care how many extra views I get putting minimalism in the title. I'm just not gonna do it anymore. I'm not sure if minimalism is just trending right now or what's going on, but it does certainly seem that if you put minimalism in a title or in a thumbnail, you're gonna get a lot more views than if you would just put, you know, simplify or clean out or whatever. But I don't know, maybe minimalism is the wrong word to describe me. Who knows? Minimalism is not like my lifelong passion. You guys know, if you've really been watching, you know we are into business and networking and traveling and minimalism to me is not my lifestyle. Minimalism is a tool that helps me reach my goals, so I hope you guys can understand the difference. And additionally, I do not plan to live out of a suitcase for the rest of my life. At one point, I certainly want to have a house and a car with my husband, um, but it's gonna be a while. This is the life that we wanna live right now, and this is what works for me right now. And I just hope people can respect that going forward and not be so critical. And I know a lot of you are probably gonna say, Sarah, ignore the haters, just keep doing it, just keep going, you know, just ignore those people, don't look at the comments. Um, but I just really feel like this is what I wanna do. I wanna move on, I don't want um, Sarah to be associated with minimalism. I want you guys just to get to know me for who I am. And you're not just here for videos that have minimalism in the title, but you're here because you like me, you can relate to me, you think I give good advice, I have good content or whatever, not just because, I don't know, you wanna see a certain type of video. I really hope that you guys um, enjoy just getting to know me for who I am and not just grouping me in with like Sarah Nurse, minimalist YouTuber, you know? I don't know. I feel like this is just a rambly type of video, but I'm sure a lot of you guys have been wondering where are the minimalism videos? Why do you not use the word minimalism anymore? I've removed it from all of my bios and stuff like that. And that's kind of why. Um, am I a minimalist or not? I think I am because I live a life that affords me freedom. I don't let stuff ever get in the way of me doing anything. Um, I like to live simply. I just function very well with minimal belongings and that's just me. It helps me travel. It helps me save money. It helps me with so many things in my life. And I wish I could talk to you guys about it a little bit more, but at the same time, I feel like I'm ready to move on and there's only so many decluttering videos I can do. Everything I own fits in one suitcase and one carry-on. I can't really be doing, you know, decluttering videos anymore because I don't own that much. So. Yeah, I don't know what to say, guys. I just hope that you understand my kind of choice to just kind of move away from like everything minimal, minimal, minimal. Um, and I just hope that you guys get to know me and that you stay for my content and my personality and that you enjoy watching the journey and the evolution of my life. So that's it for today's video. Just wanted to answer that question. A lot of you guys have been wondering where is the minimalism content and there is your answer. Um, I guess you can leave your thoughts down below. I'd really like to hear from you guys what you think about this. Um, maybe some of you can relate if you've tried to do minimal things or call yourself a minimalist and people tend to criticize you for this or that. Um, just my two cents on all this, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye. And until next time guys, remember every single day you have the opportunity to take your dreams and put them into actions. So work hard, be kind, make it happen.